All right, weekly whirl 12. Burrs. Yep. Wait, Josh, aren't, aren't you forgetting something? I'll be back. Whoa. That, that, that's better. Dude, that was fast. That's better. These shirts really are amazing. We do have the power to change the world. <laughs> anyway, guys, we thought we'd do a quick intro for our weekly whirl number 12 here. We were working really hard this week. Um, yeah. We actually made a lot of progress with getting the first prototype parts done, um, tapping, welding, cutting on CNC. So behind us, the fruits of our labor. Josh was doing the first two scoops, the first two official one kilowatt scoops, half them welded up. Um, you know, we're gonna learn, we're gonna get better. So these aren't being sold to anyone. There are prototypes and if we need a little you know, spit shine and polish on them, that's okay. A lot of spit shine and polish. <laughs> much. Too much of the secret sauce here, but there's other tricks that keep it all working beautifully. Anyway, this will be welded into the scoop. <laughs> all right, so these were um, the first, are they the first official parts that we uh, machined? Yeah, they're first official parts of a machine. Yeah, four Harmony Turbines, yeah. one kilowatt prototype. So. They were water jet cut, but I had to do um, a second operation on them. So I was putting in the counter bores and adding those counter bores to these. The only remaining thing is we have to just drill this to the final size, then tap it for a half 13 screw. And that is going to be a finished part then ready to go. So we'll start working on drilling and tapping those Monday. I'm a first time welder ever. so. It's taken a lot I of I taught them everything I know, guys. Yep. So, um, the welds <laughs> no. aren't too bad. We're no, they'll get better. Far, don't don't fret. No, I'm not beating myself up over so. it. it. It's hard to... This one... I don't fit inside these, so yeah. it's tough getting inside. This one actually looks really good. So, um, you can see great improvement on this one. And, um, you know, already. So, you can imagine what they're going to look like on the new ones. So, we have... Um, one, two, three, four, five complete sets already tapped and drilled and tapped and ready to go. They're already worn in, broken in, whatever you want to call it, labeled carefully A, B, C, D, and E. And we have F over here on the machine right now being broken in. Here's a little video of a very primitive but effective break and jig for the water jet cut gears. It's just a simple jig to hold the gears in a complete circle and then I can use the uh, the mallet to just gently bump the gear in for tighter engagement and then that jumping that you see is where it hits a burr so that's what we want to wear off the burrs. We were rigid tapping today but or not rigid tapping, I'm sorry, we were tapping today. I guess it was rigid tapping. Broke a few taps, so I think we're gonna put these taps in manually. We broke three taps, trying it on the mill. Oh well, that's why it's called prototyping, folks. So. The new ones that we do are going to be rigidly tapped on the CNC machines and we have special high performance taps to do that so we won't need to worry about it. Here's some of the roll taps and can of metal taps and things like that. So we should be good for the new gearing going forward but the water jet gearing we've got to take a little bit more time with. Almost there. Yep. It's um, whey oil, so it's a real thick, a real thick oil.
Yeah, that cuts much better. Yeah, you can feel it. Yep. WD-40 is just way too thin. Yeah, this goes right through. Oh. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So here we have Chris uh, showing off some of the equipment here to an investor uh, from Mexico. We have my family is here uh, visiting and they are getting a tour of the shop. And I'm gonna pan around here and get them to say hi. <laughs> Yeah, they look good. We'll figure out what was going on with those first ones. It might have been your ground, dude. It could have been. You know. So, okay. I'll get out of your face. <laughs> right. And in the other corner, we have Josh and intern Nate is back for the day. And uh, they are looking at some welding things. I think Josh is giving some pointers and uh, teaching some things to Nate this afternoon. So when I run this in and bump, I take it around 100, and then on that one, that little tip. I feel like he's gonna fall into the CNC machine. Look how far in he is. <laughs> it just needs to hold it on one side while I hold this side. What are you guys doing? Um, showing them how we're doing everything. Yeah? So, yeah, just showing the uh, different setups we've been throwing together. That way we can do the drill press. Excellent. So we are getting ready for actually assembly putting for this stuff. together. Yeah. yeah. That's really awesome. Close, really, really close to assembly. Very awesome. But, well, for the for the start of the scoops anyways. So yeah. um, we have our first scoop we're going to put together. So here's a different view of the shop. I'm probably doing, well, something I shouldn't be doing. But, that's a good picture. Sign. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you're enjoying the weekly whirls, and we'll see you next week. Um, oh yeah, our phrase. Yeah. Catch you on the next. Catch you on next world. <laughs> Wait, you gotta redo it now. Thank you for believing us and everything else. Oh yeah. All right. Jesus. Oh, all right. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> two. That's deuces. Take two. All right. Harmony turbines. We now have the power to change the world.